Did you see that, Adam? I saw it when you stopped, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was looking at <laughs> I you. saw it about a second before I stopped. I almost did miss it. <laughs> Fantastic crash of rhinos walking right towards us. Um, Daniel, and to maybe bring that answer to a quicker end than I would have otherwise, so we drive in an ecological area of millions of acres or millions of hectares, um, of which a private part, which allows us off-road access and, and very habituated animals because of very consistent and respectful behavior from vehicles, which makes for great viewing. These rhinos are going to walk straight towards us, as you'll see now, of the Sabi Sands. And then within the Sabi Sands, we drive about a thousand hectares, which is Juma. But as time goes on, we hope to drive more of it, see more of it, get to know more of the animals in the area, and so on. But for the moment, for today's drive, we'll cover about the larger part of a thousand hectares. If we could just turn a little bit. Before they get too close, you can see they're just stopping because of our sound, but it's going to give them a little bit of space. They should come possibly quite close past us. Lovely. It's got a nice setting as well. Lots of rhinos, all white rhinos or square lipped rhino. You can refer to them as a crash of rhinos, I mentioned as well. They do look a bit like a crash, huh? Fantastic sight. A couple of big bulls following around and judging by the age of those two youngsters on the right, I expect that one of these females might be an estrus. Let's have a look. They're going to walk towards us. Oh, this is awesome. Six of them in total. Yeah, <laughs> Kathy. I uh, see the joke you're making there as well. But Kathy's saying they're walking in a very sort of tight group there, or defensive formation, if you want. They are very close. And a bit of curiosity, rhinos don't have very good eyesight. I mean, they could see us from further back. We're a big object here, and they could certainly hear us. And as they get closer, they'll be a bit more cautious and curious. But this specific crash, we know quite well, and they're quite relaxed. But I think also there's great interest here in this female from the um, one or two of these bulls. So, what a sight! And one of the best rhino sightings we've had in a while. start the afternoon. I've worked in reserves where you get to see a lot of rhino and white rhinos, relatively speaking, or relatively docile animals. Every now and again you get a sighting with them that's just spectacular. And in this case obviously just because of the amount of them. Six of them together, let's say on an average of one and a half tons of rhino, the big male it would be close to two. Let's say we're looking at about nine tons of rhino.
stick with them a little bit. I'm not going to follow them very far because we had really such an awesome view with them now. It was also a perfect scenario because they were walking up the road, sort of ambling in our direction, so we could just sit and wait for them. But look at that, huh? Often we see a whole herd of rhino together. Yeah, that was awesome. The cloud around as well, giving nice contrast to the sky. White runners have got a gestation of about 16 months. And then they will go into estrus again when the calf is about oh, one and a half, two years old. So you could say they have a calf every four years, maybe three to five years would be a better average. Probably every four to five years if it's a healthy female. And I think there's a Mating opportunity somewhere in the in the near few months ahead. And as I explained, rhinos don't have the greatest eyesight, very good hearing, very good smell, and as they're going into the bush, then now if we followed them now, they they'd be all right with us, but they'd sort of move off. We wouldn't be able to stay close to them because of the sound. And I just think we had such an awesome view of them. Let's see what other surprises await us out here. Look at that lovely afternoon in Africa.